Let's get this party started. Hey guys, it's Naomi. If you are new to my channel, wait, no. How's my intro go? Oh, it's been so long. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, it's Naomi. Welcome back to my channel. If, what? How does my intro go? I think it, wait. Hey guys, it's Naomi and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome back to my channel. I think that's how it goes. So yes, it's been a very long time since the last time I've seen you guys. And if you also see, I got a new setup. You see my background? Yeah, isn't it so cute? Well, as you can tell from the title, it's going to be how to gain more confidence or how to be more confident, something along those lines. Uh, for somehow found this new sense of self-confidence out of like nowhere honestly well not actually out of nowhere it took years to build up but like it was like I just burst out of my bubble this year and I just like like whoa like a firecracker you know uh, anyway I'm rambling on but the point is I've been asked by a ton of people at school like Naomi how are you so confident like you're so beautiful you're so this you're so that da, 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 da. like how do you do this I'm like girl I don't know what y'all talking about I feel like I'm the same person that I was last year but like when I really sat down and evaluated it like I should be wearing earrings mm -hmm. can't believe I forgot there that's better <laughs> Anyways, when I really sat down and like self-evaluated, I was like, well, you have grown a lot of confidence in yourself. And I thought back on the past year and the past 18 years of my life and I thought, wow, it took a lot for you to get here because you were not here like this before at the beginning of your life. You were not like this at the beginning of high school. And like I won, you know, senior superlatives, all any of my seniors out there you know senior superlatives right the school or my senior class uh voted me most changed since freshman year i would ask people and there were other people running up against me i'll ask people i'm like how do you think i've changed majority of the things that people told me was like you're just more confident now your personality shines through and you're just you're just an all-around great person and i'm like <laughs> oh, and ignore my nails. They need done. I know. We don't have to talk about it. Nah. Okay, it's been like five minutes. I'm rambling on. Without further ado, I'm going to share with you my 10 facts on how to gain confidence. Sorry, I have it over pointed on my other phone. But this is my old one. Number one. Everybody is struggling with their own insecurities. Some people are just better at hiding them than others, right? So what I mean by this is the fact that if you are trying to gain confidence in yourself, you can't spend majority of your time thinking, Oh my gosh, uh, I, what does this person think about me? Da -da -da -da. Oh, you know, I'm scared. Like, I, I want to go talk to that group of people. I want to make friends with them, but I'm scared because like, what if they're looking at me and they're like, Oh, she's probably super weird. And, uh. No, no, you can't think like that. Your insecurities are a million other people's insecurities also. Everyone has their own insecurities. Some people are just better at hiding them than others. Like I said, I have a ton of insecurities, but no one will ever know that unless I tell them because I'm just <laughs> a really great actress. I mean, like, but seriously though, like everyone has their own insecurities. So you have to kind of give people a break. You are your worst critic and majority of the things that you think that other people are thinking about you, 99.9% .9 of the time, they're not thinking about that. Number two, smile more. I am a full firm believer in smiling can really brighten someone else's day. Picture this, right? You're walking down the hallways. Everybody else passing you, whatever, right? You're walking down the hallway. You got this meme mug, right? You look at somebody else. They see you meme mugging them. They think, oh, you got a problem. So now they got a problem too. And they're mad. It was like, so they're going to walk up to the next person, meme mug them because they're in a bad mood because you just put them in the bad mood because you just meme mug them. And now they're going to go, the person who they just meme mug is going to see them meme mugging them. It's like, well, what the heck did I do? They're going to have a meme mug. They're going to go to their teacher, their teachers. They're going to be all mad in class right now. Like, <laughs> huffing them, puffing as they're writing they're taking their test or whatever right they're in such a bad mood they failed their test their teacher calls them up to the desk to like try and be like hey you know you're not doing that hot 
but they're not. And then they're like, Shut up, da 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 F this class, blah 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 blah, I don't like you, da 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 da. Right? The teacher's like, Oh, well, what did I do to you? I was trying to help you. Right? So the teacher goes home to their husband or wife, right? And then the husband and wife, Hey, honey, I love you, da da da, how was your day? The teacher's like, Shut up, da 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 da, I want a divorce, blah blah blah. So then the husband or wife, right? They end up, they go, they're mad now because their husband slash wife, who was a teacher, just gave them a hard time. They go walking down the hall, right? They see their kid. Their kid's like, Oh, hi, mommy. Hi, daddy. Look what I made in school. I got like a, I made like a little finger painting. The mom or dad, who was the husband or wife of the teacher, of the person, of the person who just me mugged, the me mugger of the me mugger that you me mugged, right? The kid of that person, of that teacher's wife, slash husbands the kid right now the kids all like oh my mommy my daddy hates me <laughs> uh, storms to their room right the dog's sitting right there you end up kicking the dog they kick the goddamn dog you done made that kid kick the dog because you mean mug somebody it starts to change there's a psychological term for that what's that called oh what's that called what's that called what is that called? I just learned that. It's like, oh, hold on. Wait. I think it's projection. I think it's projection. Projection. Yes, it's a psychological term. Mm -hmm. I ain't even gotta look. I really hope that that's right. Because, like, that's kind of weird. You're projecting your outward feelings, appearance, facial expressions onto somebody else that can be misinterpreted and turned into a negative connotation, which is going to start a chain of events that ends up having all these people in the bad mood, right? Now, let's skirt, skirt, pause, rewind, back to you walking down the hallway, everybody else is walking around, right? You look at somebody, you're walking down the hallway, you're like this. Hey, Sam, hey, Sarah, hey, Chad, looking good, right? Giving out all these compliments, smiling. You don't even got the, like, the compliments is much. But, like, just smiling, waving, you know, having a good presence. Like, showing good presence. And then that person, right, they see you, they're like, Oh, you know, Courtney, she's so happy. She's so, she's always in such a good mood. Like, I aspire to be that. I really want her confidence. I really want to be as happy as she is. You could have been having the worst day ever. But if you put a smile on your face, you can prevent someone else from having the worst day ever. And smiling boosts your mood because it releases... No, never mind. I was about to try and say some like smart stuff, but like... <laughs> I was going to say it releases endorphins, but I don't think that's true. Other stuff releases endorphins. Anyways, I'm not stupid, but I know. Okay, anyway, you get me. Um, yes, like... Just... You get, the, you get the point of the story. Smile more. It shows confidence and then people will see how confident you are people are going to want to be just like you as confident as you are y'all do y'all see my highlights sorry a little bit a little bit this is what brings me into my third bullet point which is be nice to everybody be nice to people i don't care who you are i don't care what you do i don't care how bad of a mood that you're in you do not let that project onto other people because you're in a bad mood you don't have to make everybody else around you feel shitty right be nice to everybody because you know what say you got some haters if they're like Ooh, look at Courtney she's looking all gross and fat and dusty like oh her wig is crooked da -da -da -da. that's why her weave stank talking about some beach girls please she ratchet type shit that I'm on right you could just be like hey popular squad well Sorry that you feel that way, but you know what? I'm living my best life and I don't have time for the negative energy. So, oh, and then there you go, move along. Smile, like, well, I think that you look great today. That's it, period. You know, always be nice. Because if you're always nice, then no one will ever have anything bad to say about you. The only bad thing that they can say about you, oh, why is she smiling like that? She always smiling, what's wrong with her? She got smiling problems. What's wrong with having a smiling problem? Nothing. Nothing. Exactly. You'll never hear nothing. It's like, you get with the point. Number four. This may be the most important one on this list. Always put yourself first. If you're struggling with your own inner confidence, you just 
you always need to put yourself first self-love is key you can't expect to be fully 100% confident if you're not fully 100% comfortable with yourself so that's why forget everyone else around you forget all the hardships and tough times of life take time out of your day like an hour of your day put the phone aside turn off the tv you know just like sit to yourself think to yourself how you can make yourself happier and how you can just work on yourself that's most important that's number one she doesn't make that number one but it's yeah number five don't think too deep into things this kind of goes into what number one was not everybody is thinking the way that you think and you are your biggest critic you are your worst critic so by you thinking too deep into things just gives you more anxiety and it's making your it's just causing your anxiety to flare up and it's making you very self-conscious and it's going to make you feel oh uh, you know just you have to go about life with that it is what it is type attitude and what i like to say is well if i'm wearing the outfit i'm not really feeling it all that much but like it's kind of cute but i'm not feeling it that much i'd be like well somebody somewhere out in the world likes my outfit and they wish they were they were wearing my outfit right now so i'm good don't think too deep into things because half the time things aren't always what they seem that's not half the time that's like 97 percent of the time number six this is completely optional i guess but it really worked for me um and that is to put more effort into your appearance once I started to put more effort into my appearance and decide looking nice, you know, like senior year, like I said, senior year has changed Jurassic, has changed my life drastically ever since the beginning of high school. And a big part about it is because I decided, I told myself that I would put my more effort into my appearance because I was like, okay, it's my last year, you know, um, I want to go out with a bang. So I was like, okay, I took a vow that every day you know i would try and like you know have like makeup we're like i wouldn't wear makeup every day like majority of the successfully i've been wearing makeup almost every day but i don't wear any that's another thing hold on side note you do not need makeup to be beautiful okay you are completely beautiful who you are you do not need makeup i do not need makeup I love the way I look without makeup. I think I am gorgeous. I think I am beautiful. I love my, uh, I love myself without makeup. I just do it because I have so much fun when putting on makeup. Like I really love makeup. I'm always watching YouTube makeup guru videos, James Charles, Nikki tutorials. Oh, there we go. All that stuff. Like I love it. That's my passion. And you know, I have fun when I do makeup. That's why I do makeup. And you know, if I wake up late and I'm running late for school, you know. I don't got time to do makeup, I'm not going to do makeup, and you know what, I'm still going to walk in there, head held high, smile on my face, confident as fuck, right? Nobody even's going to know that I don't have makeup on, and if they do, oh well, oh well. Are you me? No, I don't think so. Last time I checked, I'm me. Just when you look nicer, you feel nicer, you feel me? That's basically, I don't got to explain that more. You, if you... When you look nicer, you feel nicer, and it makes you feel more confident. Number seven, stop caring about what others think of you. It does not matter what Sally from English class said about you to Jordan from fourth period. It don't matter what Carl from gym class said to Tina about what you wore five days ago, girl. It do not matter. Stop caring about what others think of you because when you start letting other people's opinions affect the way that you live your life, you're just going to become a robot and you're just going to live for them, for their acceptance, for their approval. And at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, you're the one who has to wake up, look in the mirror, look at yourself. You're the one who you're going to sleep with in your bed alone by yourself and if you're not comfortable with that that's when you got to go back to that last bullet point that i just said which was work on yourself work on yourself first work on yourself first you have to work on yourself first that's first thing most important because you can't 
you cannot live your life through other people. Live your, live your life for you. You have to only care about your own opinions of yourself. Because what other people say, it should be at the point. What other people say, it's like, okay, you don't like me? Next, thank you, bye. Number eight. Practice having correct posture, right? So look, picture this situation. Ugh, I keep messing with my hair, sorry, it's falling in my face. Anyway, picture this situation, right? You're walking around, head low, like you're slouched, you're like slouched like this. You no, know, you're kind of just like. See, you get you get that right. That doesn't look that doesn't look as nice as this. Picture this: shoulders back, chest out, chin up, smile. You know, there's a big difference between those two, right? And it looks more confident. And it makes you feel more confident in yourself. It's just like, I, girl, I, if I can, I can explain it to you all day, but like, you just gotta, you just gotta do it. Number nine, find friends who will do nothing but support you. I have struggled all of my life with bad friends and it took me a while and I'm still kind of struggling with it because be uh, because of these bad friends I've had I had to reteach myself how to be a good friend and I had to reteach myself how to make new friends which which has been one of the hardest things to do and one of my biggest struggles but I'm getting better at it every day because I'm putting myself out there. I'm becoming more confident every day. Now, luckily, I have found an amazing group of friends who I love with all of my heart. I'll do anything for these girls. And they do nothing but support me. They're my absolute biggest supporters, besides from my mom. I love my mom. She's my biggest supporter. Like my friends, I love my friends so much they do nothing but support me through anything that I do they believe in me they always you just you have to have that support system that backbone you know you can be that for yourself but if you can find some friends who love you for you and can support you then absolutely do it because it's amazing and that brings me to my 10th and final concluding bullet point and that is think how would I want my kids to remember me when I was younger right so imagine this right years later you graduated high school graduated college or whatever you did in your future endeavors right you're married with kids or not married or divorced with kids you know whatever you got kids all right that's the point you're you adopted whatever at the point is you got kids however you got those kids whatever but you got kids right so they're, they're sitting down you're they're like mommy or daddy how did you know tell me about you in high school how were you like what were you like da, da, da. and you have to think do you want your kids to think well i was a quiet little shy person who wished that I could go out into the world, explore, make new friends, but I just was too consumed with my own insecurities and my own self-doubts that I never got to live to be my full potential that I, that I could have been. Or do you want to tell your kids, I help myself with confidence, which is what I want you to do, kids. I want you to be like me, follow in my footsteps, but be better than me because I had to learn it the hard way. But I'm, I've had experience. I want to tell you guys that this is what you do and then to have self-confidence. And hopefully you will refer back to this video, tell you kids to watch me. Hi kids, bro, like 10 years later or whatever. But yeah, just... How would you want your kids to remember you? How would you want your kids to think of you? Like if your kids were in high school with you, how would you want your kids to see you? Would you want your kids to be the ones seeing you get bullied, get picked on, get like walked all over because 
you were too scared to speak up for yourself and have confidence in yourself? Or would you want your kids to see you being strong, independent, take a charge, and you know, being that bitch? Because you are, right? What I'm saying. Tuh, period. Okay, guys, so that concludes my video for today. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. And if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Follow me along my socials. They'll be linked below. Follow me on Instagram at oh, hey, it's Naomi, Snapchat at Naomi.Terrell. And those are really the only two social medias I use. I don't, I would say Twitter, but I don't use Twitter all like that anymore. Um, you know, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Honestly, just to take a second, um, it's been a long time since I've uploaded on YouTube. It's been very iffy. I've been very not consistent. But you know what? I always say I'm gonna try, and I'm always I always say I'm gonna be consistent. This time, I don't know. Something about sitting here and making this video just felt kind of right. You know, so I actually want to try and. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope that you take these facts into consideration, and, you know, I would love, I want everyone to be nice to the people, and just be all around more confident. Okay. Love you guys! <laughs>